Shalom. I give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rachak Kudash. To be honest, to the apostles and elders, that great millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings always, and salutations, to the sincere Akim, throughout the four corners of the earth, doing this thing in truth and sincerity. Uh, this is a lesson I'm going to do on uh, living, living, uh, living this truth. You know, just uh, living this truth. You know, every single day. You know, applying these these things we were taught by the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. All right, which are the leaders of of Israel. All these people you see who know the Israelites. Somehow, or some form or fashion, it all ties back to around the uh you know our leaders at G at Great Millstone. Okay. And you know, we live this thing opposed to uh, individuals who say they uh, believe in uh, God, Jesus, and the Bible. Um, I'm going to start with uh, the book of John. Lord willing, this is edifying. The book of John. Okay. Book of John 15 and 13. And it reads, I'm going to start at 12. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. See how is Shah talking. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my, ye, ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. So, you know, the, the, the disciples back then, they... they heard this message all right which is like an exhortation you know and then and, and Yahweh Shai you know professing that you know his requirements and, and you know his his accountability to to his men you know so and this is this is hey if you lay down your life for your friends and then the Lord said if we follow well you know him we follow the lamb, whether whether so where where he goeth, he's gonna be our friend. You know, that's the standard. That's the standard that the Lord left, but we have to live it. And that's the thing we have to we have to live it, and we have to do do things. This is James one twenty two, and it reads. Be ye doers of the word of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourself, deceiving your own selves. Let me read that again. It says, Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers on, uh, only, deceiving your own selves. So, you know, in this world, you're you're um you're your representation, you're the authority uh, on the planet Earth of how the Lord wants you to be. You know, sister, our, the sincere brethren. All right, and we're, we're we're doing it. We're walking in it. We're living in it. The situations we're in and things like th and like that, we apply the scriptures. We apply the laws, the the uh, law, statutes, and commandments, and the wisdom and knowledge. And opposed to these, the people in this world, you know, they a lot of times when. You know, we get backlash or we get, you know, animosity or whatever toward people towards you. They see that you're actually living and putting in the work of something greater. When they all they do is just say it out their mouth, things of that nature. Oh, well, you know, I love Jesus. I got, you know, I got a personal relationship. But when they come across individuals who are actually showing that they do, they don't like that. Why that? Why is that? Because they're demons. So we're continuing on the, in this process and in, in these things, man. This is Romans twelve and one. I beseech you, brethren. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. 
and be not conformed to the to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. So we're living this thing, right? We're giving our, our, ourselves as a sacrifice. Who else did that? Yahweh Shai. For, for Israel, for the nation of Israel. So we're giving ourselves as a sacrifice just like he did. Now we not necessarily, you know, um, you know, being offered up and to be put to death. Because the scriptures talk about at the end times, you know, there's going to be things that, that there's going to be events that happens where, you know, we're not all going to be put to death. Or some of us will, some of us won't. But in the world that we're living now, in our daily life, we're, we're sacrificing things that is of this world. Our old self, our, our uh, uh, um, you know, um, pleasures. Things that uh, uh, could possibly get us even ahead. But it doesn't line up with the will of the Heavenly Father. So we're living, we're living an actual, living Bible life. We go through, we'll say we catch hell. We, we read in the scriptures what we're going through. We don't have enough shekels. Oh, damn. The scriptures say we're going to have, uh, 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 you know, pockets filled with holes. We're going to go through, you know, temptations, tribulations. Things that we're going through, we can follow it right back to the scriptures. Judging, judging, judging matters. We go to what the scriptures say about judging being, you know, not a respect the persons and stuff like that. We're living that out. Because, you know, you can learn something, but if you don't apply it, you don't practice it, it's not really, you know, it ain't really learned like that. You know, retaining the knowledge. Okay. This is Philippians 2 and 7. But made himself... Let me see some. Let me see some. I think these are Philippians, or I might want Philemon. I'm not sure. Let me see. It might be Philemon. Nah, I'm not. It's Philippians. Philippians, but there was some good meat on there. Philippians two and and seven and six. Who being in the form of the Most High. That is not rob robbery to the e to be equal with the Most High, Yahweh, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness likeness of of men. So we live in our lives. We're we're ultimately servants. You know. We're, we're a servant. You know, even a servant makes sacrifices. Servant is told is, is under majority of time is subjective unto his his higher up. You're a subordinate to something. We just so happen to be a servant to to Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy? All right, we're gonna be a servant, well willing until the end. All right, so we can't really call you know. A lot of times we're not doing things that we want to do. We got to do things that's required of us. All right. I'm putting them, putting them sacrifices up. We basically did when Yahweh Shai died. You know, that's just like, you know, we, we died. We dead to the world. This is verse 8. And being found in fashion of a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of a cross. 
So he was obedient and serving. Who was Yahweh Shai serving? Yahweh. That's how it went. Okay. Even unto death, he see he hey, he called out though for you know to try to stop it for a second, you know. But he knew what he had to do. Cause we what we do when we catch hell sometimes it's like really overbearing and, and, and sucks. We might we tell the Lord, you know, can you ease up on it or can you stop it? You know, so that's the difference about living this thing. When you are, when you are a Christian or somebody that just you know gives mouth service about the Lord, your actions don't line up with what you be talking. So you you capping. And these niggas and these so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out here be capping. And then they think they better than you, uh, 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 because they think they have um, the, the Lord's dealing with them. The Lord's not dealing with you, niggas. If you don't, you know, you're not repenting. You know, uh, let me get to the next scripture: Ephesians five and two. says uh start from the top it says be ye therefore followers of the most high as dear children you know children follow their mother and their father it says and walk in love and we know what love is according to first john it says and walk in love and mashiach have loved us and have given himself for an, us an offering and a sacrifice to the most high for a sweet smelling savior So when you know you know, when you really believe in something, you're gonna lay your life down for it. When you really believe in something, you know. That's how you know somebody for real what they talking about. They lay their life down. We we are we on high alert to, to Esau. His Esau, his minions, and and then the uh the elite the elite bank bank bankers. The ones that rule this world. Okay. So we laying our life down as a sacrifice. You know. By what how, how we doing that? Doing the doing doing works then brotherly love. Sacrifices is like a work you do. Uh not a you know, work, I mean like a deed. That's something you do. Back in the ancient world, we used to sacrifice animals, different types of animals, um, unblemished animals to um, show the Lord um, uh, an offering, basically for mercy, or, or you know, uh, to get in good with the Lord. So we do it just a different way because we can't do, you know, the, 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 the those type of laws was done away with. But why is that? Because you always shy. And these people don't, they don't, they don't, the people who come up and ask us questions about our doctrine and they start to, you know, well, Jesus Christ said this, this, that, and then, and then. Check out they, what they do according to, they just say, the Lord said this, Jesus said this. Well, under his love and his covenant and his car unto the cross, you don't have to do anything at all. Fuck, you ain't even following nothing the Lord said. This is 1 Corinthians 5 and 7. Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Mashiach, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. You know, when we do the, sa uh, sa uh, do the uh, Passover, you know. Observe the Passover and the Sabbath. Scripture says, seek ye the old path. Or, or old ways, you know, the old path. You know, so when we, hey, when, we're, when, we're, when we're sacrificing, we're making ourselves, purging ourselves out from things that the Lord is not uh, pleasing with, pleased with. 
or it's not um because scripture said do scripture say do uh, do what do good unto yourselves so we're not out you know doing drugs uh all out drunk in public and we all not you know committing you know types of forni different form forn fornications and giving into other lusts and christians do that though it gets deep because when you check out christians they when when something is required from you that the lord they say you know you know it's not literal or it's not you know they'll give an excuse that's why we carry the spirit that we spirit that we carry is because we're following in the way he's put our he's put his holy spirit onto us he's supping with the you know what i'm saying and that's the difference between living in this thing uh living this thing you know, other than just you know doing it um in a disingenuous way and there's one scripture i had i just thought i i just came to me let me see if i can't find it i'll just close it out but uh let me see da -da -da -da. okay 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 let me see We walk in the walk, we walk in the walk, talk in the talk. I quoted that John, second John, second John two, one and six, because that's love, man. You know, the love, uh, well, you know, we're reciprocating the love. You know, from the Lord, he shows love to us for um, the mercy, his name. And we show love back. That's a real relationship. That's a real friend relationship. Um, that's a good one. And there's people in this world. They don't. They don't. They don't do that. These fucking, these fucking niggas, these spigs, all right, never see them doing what the Lord actually talk is talking about. Um, Colossians 1 and 10. Start up, start up, start at 9. For this cause we also, since the day we heard of it, we heard it, do not cease to, to pray for you and, and, to, and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. So, so that wisdom and understanding and, you know, that knowledge, that goes, that goes in, this, in this dark, dark, forgotten, forsaken world. They, that is a responsibility. The light, the dark, don't not, they do not light the light. I'm telling you. When it's recognized, hey, it's, it, it can get bad. But we have, we stand up, we stand on our ten toes, and we represent. It says in verse 10 that, that ye walk might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing and being being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of the most high. That's right. All right. But we all we all got gonna fall short. You know, scriptures say be perfect, but we do as much as we can. You know. It says being fruitful in every good work. So we'll, if we do what we can to the best we can, then we're, we're, we're being found as perfect, even though we do go off. Scripture says a, a, a righteous man or just man falls seven times but get up. You know. 
So long, long, long willingness is edifying. Give all our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Hakadosh. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom.